In the vast tapestry of Earth's history, certain beings stand out for their power and dominance. The Mosasaur, a leviathan of ancient seas, is one of these creatures. These colossal marine reptiles, distant relatives of modern-day lizards and snakes, ruled the marine ecosystem approximately 70 to 66 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. To appreciate the Mosasaur, one must first understand the world in which it lived. The Cretaceous seas were tumultuous realms teeming with life. Expanding coral reefs provided shelter and hunting grounds for numerous marine creatures. The ocean was dotted with archipelagos, giving rise to shallow waters and coastlines with rich ecosystems. In this dynamic environment, the Mosasaur emerged as the ultimate predator. Mosasaurus hoffmani was one of the most iconic species. Majestically stretching through the waters, it could reach lengths of up to 18 meters. Although these data are derived from paleontological studies of fossils found, it is highly likely that even larger mosasaurs may have existed. But it wasn't just their size that made them impressive, it was a range of adaptive features. The mosasaur's jaw was an evolutionary marvel. What particularly set mosasaurs apart were their impressive jaws. Their upper and lower jaws were lined with sharp conical teeth, ideal for seizing and tearing prey. Behind this first row of teeth were additional rows, ensuring that once prey was caught, it had little chance of escape. These teeth were continuously replaced, meaning mosasaurs had a constant supply of new teeth ready for use. Like snakes, they had a double-hinged jaw. This unique ability allowed them to swallow large prey, much like a python can consume animals larger than its head. The strength of the mosasaur's bite varied depending on the individual size and specific species, but it is estimated that they had very powerful jaws, although it is challenging to provide an exact measure of mosasaur's bite force in pounds or newtons without direct data. Estimates based on the morphology of their jaws and teeth suggest they could exert significant biting pressure. Some studies have compared mosasaur teeth to those of modern crocodiles, which have extremely powerful bites. Using these comparisons, it is plausible to assume that mosasaur bites were also very powerful. The morphology of the mosasaur is also intriguing. Unlike many reptiles, the mosasaur's tail had a crescent-shaped fin, reminiscent of sharks. This allowed them to quickly propel their massive bodies through the water, granting them remarkable agility despite their size. The mosasaur's skin was covered in scales that also served as protection against potential predators and potential injuries. Some species of mosasaurs had enlarged scales on certain parts of their bodies, which could have offered additional protection. All these fantastic features placed Mosasaurus at the top of the food chain. Their diet was varied, encompassing everything from fish to sharks, seabirds, and other marine reptiles. Their position at the top of the food chain was rarely contested. Although the Cretaceous seas also harbored other formidable predators, such as pliosaurs and large sharks. But even these giants were not immune to the challenges of their time. Environmental changes, competition for resources, and perhaps interactions with other large predators influenced their evolution and behavior. The late Cretaceous oceans, where mosasaurs reigned, were populated by several other marine predators with which they could compete for food and habitat. 
Here are some of the main predators competing with mosasaurs during that time. Plesiosaurs. Plesiosaurs were a group of marine reptiles characterized by their long necks and limbs transformed into fins, they were also formidable marine predators and primarily fed on fish and cephalopods. Plesiosaurs had slightly different ecological niches than mosasaurs, but it is likely that they crossed paths and had competitive interactions. Ichthyosaurs Ichthyosaurs were another group of marine reptiles resembling dolphins that were adapted to marine life. They fed on fish and similar prey to mosasaurs, which could lead to resource competition. Prehistoric sharks. The late Cretaceous oceans also housed prehistoric sharks like Cretoxorhina, which were formidable marine predators. They could have competed with mosasaurs for prey. Other marine reptiles. Besides plesiosaurs and ichthyosaurs, other groups of marine reptiles such as prehistoric sea turtles and marine crocodilians also shared the marine environment with mosasaurs. Giant fish. The late Cretaceous oceans harbored large predatory fish like Cyphactinus, which also competed for the same prey as mosasaurs. Competition for food and habitat was a reality in the late Cretaceous oceans, and mosasaurs had to contend with a variety of other marine predators to ensure their survival. This competition helped shape the marine ecosystems of that time. When studying the mosasaur, it is also essential to consider its immediate environment. The other creatures with which they interacted, the plants and animals they preyed upon, and even oceanic conditions, all played a role in their evolutionary success. Mosasaurs, like other Cretaceous creatures, eventually met their end in cataclysmic events that shook the Earth. While their reign was brief on a geological timescale, their impact on the marine ecosystems of their era is undeniable. The Mosasaur survived and thrived for millions of years, showcasing the adaptability and dominance of prehistoric marine life. During the late Cretaceous, it roamed the oceans with unmatched ferocity, becoming one of the most formidable marine creatures of all time. Its reign echoes that of other ocean titans, such as the Megalodon, which thrived during the Cenozoic era. as well as the renowned Plesiosaur, another marine predator from the Mesozoic era that also played a significant role in the ancient oceans of its time. If you've enjoyed this video as much as we have, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on our future exciting explorations of the prehistoric world. Your support allows us to continue bringing you fascinating educational content. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified when our next videos drop. Thank you for your valuable support and see you soon.